Hi friends, this is Asrar. In this session, we will discuss about ASP.NET login with session and logout. Here you can look that I have created two text box for username and password. When I'm going to click the login button, it will verify the username and password. And if it is true, then it will generate the session and redirect to the control panel page. And there we will uh, retrieve the session and after that, I am going to click the logout button. It will clear the session and redirect to default page itself. So I am going to show that I have created the username, password and text boxes and I have the login button and after that I have a label so that it will show the error message while if it is uh, the validation has been filed. So look at this. I have created the code behind. I have connected to the SQL server and then I have retrieved the data from the register form table. If it is true, it will create the session or else it will show the error message has please check your username and password. So look at this. When I am going to click this, it will check the username and password and it has been empty so it has shown the error message. So now I am going to create the session while if it is true. So session, how I have to create the session is, uh, so just simply write this session and you have to get the session value and you can give the name for the session, any any name you can give as I am giving username equal to getting the value from the text box itself, text, so this is how the session has been creating so after creating the session the page has to redirect so just I am going to write has a redirect has response dot redirect redirect to control panel page so I'm going to create control panel dot ASPX okay so if it is to the session username you can mention the session name any by any name as I have given username from getting the value from the text box one so after that I am just uh, redirecting my page into the control panel page so that uh, there it will the logout button will be appear and uh, many things which uh, I want to show in the control panel page so after redirecting to control page I have a label and button which is a logout button and if you yes I'm going to run this you can see here I have a welcome label which is I'm going to retrieve the name of the uh, log login person and I have a logout button if I click this uh, it has to clear the session and I have to redirect to the default page so I am going to stop this and in the control panel page I am going to read the session value by if session which I have created the username is not equal to null which means if it is having the value of session then it should have to show the message label 1 dot text equal to I'm going to read by session value by session naming the session value has username so you have to write the exact name by what you have created in the face so just I'm copying and pasting into this okay then I have to write has dot to string by string we have to read this one so just saying if it is else else it should have to redirect to default page itself because if it is not available the session value equals dot sorry response dot redirect response dot redirect to default page itself 
default.aspx okay just save it after that if you run this one you can see this I have not created the session still now so it will redirect to default page just look at this I have run the control panel page but it has been redirect to default page because the session value has not generated till now so just I am closing this one and refreshing it and now I am going to log in with uh, I have a username and password in my database in master I have a table called register form and register form open and seeing the username and password so it is loading now so just look at this I have a ROM poll double five double seven so just I am going to enter has ROM Paul, Ram Paul, yes, Ram Paul, and password is double five double seven. So if I click the login button, it will create the session and redirect to the control panel page. So just I'm going to click this login, and you can look out this the username which I have created the created by session, and it has been came to here, and if I going to click the logout button the session have to clear so for that I am going to write in button click when the logout button is clicked the session have to clear and redirect to default page so you can clear the session by two ways which is session dot clear you can write this also or else you can write by session dot remove all also both are working well so yes I am removing clear all and after that I am going to redirect to the default page itself so just I am copying this one and pasting it and if I am going to refresh and now I am clicking the logout button it will clear the session and it will redirect to the default page so the session has been cleared and redirect to the default page if you run this the control panel page itself means you can see that it will redirect because the session has been cleared successfully so control panel and it is had been redirected to default page this is how I have created the session and you too can create the session value and redirect the page you have to note that the session will work till the browser is open if you close the browser then it will won't work because it is temporarily storing the data which you are passing into that hope you enjoyed if you like this don't forget to like share and subscribe it have a good day